Welcome to The Holy Yogi, where we help you find the spiritual guru inside of you. Hello, beautiful. Hello, handsome. How you doing today? And if no one has told you today that they love you, let me be the first. Okay, let me do some cyber hugs, cyber hugs, cyber hugs. <laughs> because love is the greatest medicine of them all. And truly, love makes the world go round and round and round. And truly, love... Oh, it always, it always wins, ladies and gentlemen. And this is what I need you to do. Before we begin, I need you to like, comment, and ding, 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 hit that notification button so we can grow our channel so everybody will get to see us in the whole algorithm of YouTube. It's like Oprah. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do today is, um, first of all, I'm going to thank all of you. I get so much love from people because it really shows that um, it's so important that you give love out there because I've gotten so much love back. People always tell me that they love me in the in the comment sections, and I want to continue to encourage you to do that because sharing is caring. So do me a favor, share the video, and bring some a happy smile to someone else's face too, especially if it brought a, a, a smile to you. Okay, so today what we're doing is we're continuing our Native American shamanistic, you know, celebration and spirituality. Um, as far as doing medicine card readings. And we're going through the entire deck, and I think it's 52 in the deck. And they also give you nine uh, options to create other animal type of cards that your spirit draws to. So I may do those too. So we may have 60, um, 60 plus, I think it's 61 altogether, um, type of animal card readings, okay? And then we get to devise, you know, the positive, and also the contrary messages of those animal spirits. So let's see what animal spirits are gonna call us. So today we are going to do the positive side or the upright side of porcupine number 12, okay? And porcupine's message and spirit medicine, porcupine is innocence, okay? So porcupine remind me of innocence again with every man a brother with every woman a friend oh so sweet okay so the south of the medicine will is the place of childlike innocence and humility mm, we need to bring some of that back into the mix in the united states of america humility and childlike innocence yes i feel that okay it is a home of playfulness and the position of porcupine on the medicine wheel of life. Porcupine has many special qualities and a very powerful medicine. The power of faith and trust. Whew. The power of faith contains within it the ability to move mountains. The power of faith contains within it the ability to not only move mountains, but to trust in life and trusting that great spirit has a divine plan for you. Now keep in mind, you know me, I get you to tap, in, tap into the great spirit with inside of you. So you already know. And what we need to do now is dig deep. If you haven't found your purpose or your divine plan, well, that's where meditation comes in at. And ask your spirit guide, great spirit, to give you a hint as far as what it is for you. Your task is to find the pathway that is most beneficial for you and that uses your greatest talents to further the plan. Trust can open doorways to the creation of space. The space has created, the space thus created allows others to open their hearts to you and to share their gifts of love joy and companionship i think that's what i got from the holy yogi show okay i found my calling right uh if you were to observe porcupine you would immediately notice its quills Ooh, sticky, sticky quills. these quills are only used when trust has been broken between porcupine and another creature. Okay, let me let me tell you. I need my glasses to read this. This was taking me so long, so let's put the glasses on. Okay. All right. So uh, let's see here. Much like otter, porcupine uh, is gentle, loving creature and non-aggressive. When fear is not present, 
it is possible to feed a porcupine by hand oh, and never get stuck by its quills. Now that makes a whole lot of sense. Through understanding the basic nature of this animal, you may come to understand your own need for trust and faith and for becoming like a child again. In today's society, this is needed reminder to honor the wonder of life and the appreciation of each new day as an adventure of discovery. Porcupine sat silently looking at a hollow log. She wondered if it was a playhouse that nature had created just for her. Porcupine envisioned all the things she could do with the lake. I mean the log. <laughs> Uh, she could climb on top and make the log roll from side to side. She could go inside and see if there was any juicy worms for her dinner. She could also scratch her back on the rough outer bark if she wanted to. Just as Porcupine was pondering what to do next, she saw a Bear approaching. Bear was big and black and looking for honey. Oh, another playmate to share my log, she thought. Hello, bear, she cooed. Do you want to play and share my log with me? Gruff old bear snorted. Porcupine, don't you know I'm too old to play? You're in my way. I'm looking for honey. Go away. Why, bear, you're never too old to play, she replied. If you forgot what it was like to be a cub, you always be as impatient and gruff as you are now. Bear began to think about what Porcupine had said. Maybe she was right. All the other creatures had run away from Bear in fright. Even the other bears had turned up their noses when he growled at them. The little Porcupine was certainly trusting him not to eat her. She even offered to be his friend. The old bear looked at Porcupine and began to feel something move inside of him. Ah, it's called love. <laughs> he started to remember the game he played as a cub. Joy started to live in him again. Little Porcupine, you have reminded me that in becoming strong and seeking answers, I got caught in trying to be an intellectual. I became afraid of what others would think if I dropped my mask of gruffness. I was afraid they wouldn't take me seriously anymore. You have taught me that in being a fuddy-duddy, I was causing others not to care for me. Thank you. I'd love to play with this old log. And so it was that Bear became childlike again and learned the innocence of Porcupine. In choosing Porcupine card, you have given yourself a gentle reminder not to get caught up in the chaos of the adult world where fear, mm, greed, mm, and suffering are commonplace. Ah, the medicine in this card is that of relief from seriousness and severity. Open your heart to those things that gave you joy as a child. Remember the preciousness of fantasy and imagination and the making of some game or toy from nothing but scrap. Honor the playfulness of spirit that lets everyone win. I hope you enjoyed that today and I hope you enjoy the opportunity to give yourself the opportunity to be childlike again. You know, I am so happy because, you know, as I'm always, every day, looking for an opportunity to have fun. That's why medicine card readings are just so pleasurable because it gets to tap into the wonder of life, the wonder of our animal friends, and to be reminded that even some animal friends are great to play with. You know, I can remember several people who, um, in a um, nursing home, a lot of the old senior citizens were very sad or, you know, they were going through some solemn times and, you know, somebody wanted to, you know, bring spirit into the um, the nursing home. And you know what they did? They bought animals in. 
So many of the um, senior citizens adopted stray and um, unwanted pets and cats and dogs and birds and little hamsters. And the nursing home became alive again because they started to play with the animals and the animals started to play with them and they started to giggle, they started to laugh, and more importantly, they started to love again. So find an excuse for you to tap the child inside of you. So one of the things I wanna encourage you to do, exercise, I remember playing jump rope or play a game like remember playing Monopoly or Scrabble or going outside you know, with friends and family, playing hide and seek, find an excuse. If you have grandchildren, if you have children, you know, go play with the kids and, and, and see the innocence within inside of them. You have a good excuse to go see a good Disney movie or an animation movie of your children choosing. Become a superhero and use your imagination and fantasize about you taking over the world and making it a good, happy place to live. So I'm going to be super holy, Yogi, and wish you a fantastic fantastic day. Peace. Hata Poo. Namaste. Have a great, awesome, awesome day. Bye-bye now.